should the Eagles be sold on Jalen Hurts? Absolutely sold on Jalen Hurts. You got to keep perspective when you talk about young Jalen Hurts. You're talking about young Jalen Hurts in his first playoff game. Yes, sir. You got to understand what he was going up against. He wasn't just going against the GOAT in Tom Brady, but a Super Bowl championship winning team mm -hmm. in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in his first playoff game. You remember when uh, Peyton Manning had his first playoff game mm -hmm. against the Titans back in 2000? You was an itty bitty. Remember that Gerber baby fool you were talking about last block? You were nibbling on that. 62 passer rating. Mm, Peyton Manning. You? Okay. Josh Allen in his first playoff game. Remember that? Bad news bears, spazzing, ball going backwards. People are like, what is going on with him? Losing to the Texans. 69 passer rating. Those are not Super Bowl championship teams we're talking about either. And those are some great quarterbacks that struggle in their first playoff game. Eli Manning, et cetera. The list is long. I didn't pay particular attention to your career because I was out here doing this. You know why? I'm going to pay attention to you. <laughs> Shut up. It's not because of that. Because you play defense and linebacker. Who cares? Uh, but the point is, Acho, tell me, because I know this wasn't the case for me and for many others. Were you fifth in the NFL in history in any category? No. Like, top five ever. Water-handed. That's why we're both here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the same boat, big dog. Not even close. Add two more digits, maybe 555th and something. But Jalen Hurst is sitting there saying, hey, man, my first couple of seasons, I'm fifth in NFL history in terms of most passing and rushing yards combined. Why do I bring up that list? Because sometimes you can get a stat and be like, yeah, that's kind of meaningless. Until you see who's on that list and it makes it meaningful. He sits there at number five. Who's number four? Deshaun Watson. Is he a good quarterback? Beast. Who's number three? <laughs> Justin Herbert. Is he a good quarterback? Beast. Who's number two? Patrick Mahomes. Beyond the beast. And number one, former MVP in himself and Cam Newton. I don't see any scrubs on that list. So if Jalen Hurts is on a list where there are no scrubs, I'm going to bet in him, and I'm going to bet on him going forward. Plus a bird in the hand beats two in the bush. I'm not going to the draft, I'm not going elsewhere and hoping and rolling the dice. I know what I got in Jalen Hurts. Let's continue to see that improvement. I like your take. Um, but the Eagles have to have a very sobering conversation about Jalen Hurts, which will lead them to realize maybe he's not the starter. Let's go. The biggest defense of Jalen Hurts is he's only started 20, 21 games. Here's the problem. Look at his peers. Patrick Mahomes mm. threw 20 starts. 16-4 mm. and four was an NFL MVP, had NFL records of 60 passing touchdowns, 6,600 yards, and he had 13 300-yard games. Justin Herbert threw 20 starts. He was an AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year. He had the most completions in NFL history, 535. Second most passing yards in NFL history with 5,900. Continuing on, Dak Prescott threw 20 starts. He had a 15-5 and five record. He had an MVP vote. He led his team to a 13-3 and three playoff bye. He made the Pro Bowl. Joe Burrow threw 26 starts. He had the first division title for the Bengals in six years. First playoff win in 31 seasons. Mm. Lamar Jackson threw 20 plus starts, 22 starts. Unanimous MVP, a 19 and three record, and a number one seed for the Ravens. If you look at the peers of Jalen Hurts, yeah. we no longer live in a crockpot NFL slow cooking quarterback society like we did in the early 2000s with Peyton Manning. Yeah. Now quarterbacks have to win immediately. Mm -hmm. If you watch the game, that Eagles. Uh, 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 Eagles-Bucks game, the, one of the most interesting statistics, and I loved it, shout out to Fox, was this. <clears throat> Watching the game, Jalen Hurts <clears throat> leads all quarterbacks in rushing the ball. <clears throat> Tom Brady leads all quarterbacks in passing the ball. What a matchup we have ahead of us. <laughs> then I kicked back and I thought to myself, would I rather have a newest Bentley 2022 or would I rather have a Boeing 787? Damn. <laughs> I'd rather have the 787. Think about it. <laughs> I don't care how nice the Bentley is. With right. that being said, I love that Jalen Hurts leads all quarterbacks in running the ball. But why drive when I can fly? And at the quarterback position, I want to be able to fly. Eagles fly. So with that being said, yeah. Sal, no, nah, I'm not sold on Jalen Hurts. I will tell y'all even more importantly as to why you shouldn't be here in a moment. Yeah, I understand what you're saying in terms of peers, and I understand what you're saying in terms of what the temperature is in terms of judgment. It has to be fast, and you have to see immediate success. But that doesn't mean you have to always subscribe to that because there is some things you have to slowly cook. <sighs> Do you put a baked potato in the microwave? Mm, it's, it's on the border, right? That's the border one. Doesn't come out as good as that oven, but who got an hour for it, right? <laughs> put, put it in that oven, you're going to wish you had done it in the oven.
There's some things you put in the microwave that just come out better. Popcorn. You know what I'm saying? You can go on a skillet if you want. You can go over a Redenbacher on a skillet. I mean, put that thing in the microwave. It's going to be just fine. But that's not who Jalen Hurts is. That's not who the Philadelphia Eagles are. They have three first-round picks right now. Mm-hmm. The only take I will hear, and I like your take, except there's one that's better if you're going to say you don't want to stick with Jalen Hurts is that you go get you a bona fide. Mm-hmm. Yes. You go get you a dude. Yep. Not talking about who's out there that you can't get. You Who get can you go get? And I don't want to hear about the draft, because here we go again, starting from scratch. Yep. We start all over again with a different version of Jalen Hurts, potentially. That's real. Russell Wilson in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Three first-rounders for Russell Wilson. Okay, let's have that conversation. Yep. Outside of that, I have to continue to watch Jalen Hurts developed right before my very eyes because I saw it happen just in the second season from the beginning to the end. You bring up a phenomenal point. You do absolutely stick with Jalen Hurts unless you can acquire one of three people. Russell Wilson. Yes. Deshaun Watson. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. If you can acquire one of those three individuals, Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, Aaron Rodgers, then you move on from Jalen Hurts. Howie Roseman, leverage those three first-round picks that you have and try to acquire one of those three individuals. If you cannot commit to Jalen Hurts, and use those three first-round picks to support Jalen Hurts. But here is my hesitation with Jalen Hurts. I said this. I will say it again. Let's go. Eight divisions in football. The winners of those eight divisions have the best quarterbacks in football. Tom Brady and the Bucs won the NFC South. Matthew Stafford and the Rams won the NFC West. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers won the NFC North. Dak Prescott and the Cowboys won the NFC East. Ryan Tannehill and the Titans won the AFC South. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs won the AFC West. Joe Burrow and the Bengals won the AFC East. Josh Allen and the Bills won the AFC East. Joe Burrow and the Bengals won the AFC North. Outside of injury, Mm. every quarterback that was best won the division. So unless Jalen Hurts is going to be better than Dak Prescott anytime soon, Philadelphia Eagles... Emmanuel Acho, mm. understand, you're going to be subject to a wild card seed every single time. And to win a Super Bowl, now you got to win four games and go on the road for all of them with Jalen Hurts. Yeah. So unless Jalen's going to be better than Dak, you better go find somebody that is better than Dak because eight out of eight times, the team with the best quarterback won the division. Don't tell me about the coach. Yeah. Don't tell me about the receiving core. Don't tell me about the offensive line. Don't tell me about the skill positions. Don't tell me about the fan base. Don't tell me about inside or outside. <laughs> Don't tell me about the pass rushers. Just tell me about who's the quarterback, and I can tell you who's going to win the division. If mm. Jalen Hurts isn't the best quarterback in the division, they're not going to win the division. So either make him the best yeah. or go find somebody better than Dak. Oh, interesting. Can you make it a contest even if you don't surpass them? Uh, can you catch up to Dak Prescott? Just like if you look in the AFC South, Ryan Tannehill's the best quarterback. Carson Wentz had a better year this year than Ryan Tannehill, but at least make it close or you can get the nod. If I'm Jalen Hurts, if I'm the Philadelphia Eagles, outside those three names, if I can't acquire them with these first-round picks, i got to continue to see how he will evolve because I've never bet against a worker. I bet against talent. I bet against people who weren't disciplined with that same talent. But when I saw someone who was a worker, Nick Sirianni talks about it. Jalen Hurts and his character, his love for football, the way that he puts in to the game, he's certainly going to get some positive results. Jalen Hurts' first year, we had conversation of was it a good year or not. In abbreviated season, he certainly was better this year than Carson Wentz was last year. Now going forward, at least give the young man a full season and playoff experience to build on, to step on. Let me ask you a question real quick. Somebody asked me this yesterday. I'm not about to post this clip onto Twitter because I don't want to get cussed out. Um, But, Sel, can you be a winner and not be a leader? Can you be a... Yes, yes, yes. So if you can be a winner and not be a leader, then that also means you can be a leader and not be a winner. Mm -hmm. And I think the problem is Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott are both flirting with that category. Mm. Incredible, incredible, incredible leaders. They are phenomenal leaders of men. Yeah. The question now is, can they be winners? Mm. I love Hurts as a leader. I love Dak as a leader. Yeah. But can you be winners, ultimate winners, at the NFL level, Super Bowl winners? That's what I have a hard time wrestling with. Oh, man, we're going to have to have that conversation because I'm with you in terms of their leadership. Let's make a distinction between how that's going to translate into winning. Let's make another distinction when sometimes you could just get out-talented. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dogs don't stretch. You know, like, w- there are some dogs that you play with, like, he ain't the one that has to lift weights, coach. He's not the one that has to do all the shuttle and shuffle drills. He just get on the field and make it happen. And I think right now, as you see this new crop 
of young, talented quarterbacks, Herberts and Allens, et cetera. Sometimes you can find yourself in a position, I'm a great leader, I'm even a winner. Just getting out-talented.